Hello everyone. Uh, this is the MSK series case number one. Uh, this is a 18 year old male patient presented with right knee joint pain for one week duration. There is a history of trauma also. Patient had fever. So, this is the anterior posterior radiograph of the right knee joint. Uh, this is a, a teenage patient's knee joint x ray because you can still see the blood plates. So, the main abnormality in this x ray is around this region. Right. You can see a well defined, fairly rounded lytic lesion with sclerotic margins in the upper tibial metaphyseal region. So, you can see the sclerotic margins here. Right and it is well defined uh, you can see a lucency around this region the lateral aspect of the upper tibia slightly a fracture healing fracture so uh, uh, the, the the this lesions has a narrow zone of transition the important feature narrow zone narrow zone of transition so it's a, a feature of a benign lesion and uh, it does not have a soft tissue component in the peripherally and it's a centrally placed lesion centrally placed lesion in the metaphysis It does not extend to the epiphysis and the knee joint is normal. The articular surface of the knee joint is also normal. There is no periosteal reaction. So it's also a benign feature of this lesion. And there are no synchronous lesions and so the patella distal femur and the rest of the tibia are normal except for this fracture upper fibula is also normal so, so according to the history uh, the main diagnosis of this lesion it's a brody abscess secondary to osteomyelitis second to osteomyelitis you can't see any uh, involucrum or sequestrum uh, in this x-ray sequestrum means the separation of the bone involucrum is newborn formation so those features you can't see in this x-ray so the differential diagnosis are if it's a centrally located one simple bone cyst it's a one differential diagnosis you also call it unicameral bone cyst unicameral bone cyst uh, if it's a eccentric one, non-nocifying fibroma is a differential diagnosis. So that tends the first case. So please uh, subscribe our YouTube channel. Then you can get uh, notifications uh, about our YouTube videos. And uh, you are welcome for any comments of our videos. Uh, thank you.